<clears throat> Hello and welcome to Kerala Gray Market, our daily program on Nifty, USDNR and Bank Nifty. Uh, where do we start? Let me just wait and see if there are some comments so that we can, we know that we are live. Are we live? Are we live? I think we are live, right? I think it says live. I am not seeing any comments. Yes, uh, Sri Ranga, hi. Hi Subhash, hi everybody. Hi Pranav. Pranav, you are always the first on the list. Uh, <laughs> so, let's get started. Um, I think the last time we met, our analysis was call selling at or above 17700 strike till the blue line trend line is intact was our verdict. But today I think we have a slightly different view but let's get into it before we pass the judgments. Right? So the most important chart I want to draw your attention to today is the Nifty Futures chart. Right Now there are two interesting points here. One of course is that it formed a bullish engulfing candle on futures. Right, That's fine. The conflict here is that this has an upside till blue trend line only. Now, I'm, I'm severely, severely conflicted here for two reasons, right? One is this is a massive resistance we are approaching, right? Whether you are looking at spot chart or you are looking at futures chart, it doesn't matter. Uh, you are very close to a very age old trend line here, right? But the catch is uh, it's not having any rejection. So on the one hand it is approaching a resistance, on the other hand it is not showing rejection, right? So it's conflicting, right? So uh, Nifty is approaching the blue line, bullish engulfing on futures charts, but very close to a resistance, right? Uh, no rejection though. So I'll no rejection close to a trend line, to a resistance, but the volume today is low. That you can see it here, right? So today the volumes are low. Like, this was a spectacular volume day two days back, 1st September. Yesterday was a very high volume day. Today is a very low volume day. So I'll take today's bullishness with a little bit of caution, right? Now let's look at Bank Nifty. Bank Nifty, on the other hand, is way more bullish than Nifty. Why? Because today there was very good volume. Uh, it broke the previous bearish engulfing uh, high. So Bank Nifty for me looks way more bullish than Nifty, right? And we know this thing, if Nifty and Bank Nifty are giving opposite conflicting signals, but if Bank Nifty is looking strong, I will go with Bank Nifty's bullishness because ultimately let's face it, right? Nifty is 40% Bank Nifty. So today Bank Nifty gave decent volumes and it broke above this uh, trend line and it, its previous high, right? So for me, Bank Nifty's bullishness is super strong, right? On a local high, looking very strong. And Nifty for me, uh, with volume. So for me, Bank Nifty's bullishness is giving me a sense that Nifty could be very bullish. Now let's look at option chain, right? Today there was massive put writing around 17600, which is strongly suggest suggestive that um, 17600 could be a resistance, sorry, support, right? You can see it here. And overall the option chain is looking with slight bullish bias. PCR of 1.1 is mildly bullish, right? So option chain and uh, uh, PCR are both indicating bullishness. Now finally we will go to FII data and this is very interesting, right? The gap between red and green has narrowed down and now FII bought 42,000 calls, sold 20,000 puts, both of which are bullish and they bought 1000 crore futures which is again bullish. So overall for me, Nifty chart is a little conflicting but let's assume that the trend line is getting approached without any kind of rejection. So bullish chart bullish option chain, bullish FII data, verdict overall for me is that it is very strong and if there is a positive close tomorrow without any kind of reversal signal, we can expect more bullishness because why today's bullish engulfing will be confirmed tomorrow. But that said, right, you have to play very carefully here because you are trading very, very close to a trend line. So this is not a, this is not a great idea to bet your house on this. I mean, if you are playing bullishness, you can play, you know, breakout strategies or something, but it's not a good idea to take massive positions on long now. You should not be short now because there's a risk of a breakout, but your position sizing on long has to be very careful. So my bias is long, but I won't take, you know, um, very risky bets. I won't short here till I see clear rejection from, uh, so let me put it this way, right? Do not short until you see a strong rejection 
or a reversal candle from the resistance and i have to draw your attention to one more thing right and this is critical we have talked about it earlier also see the monthly candle on nifty was a bullish engulfing right so with a monthly bullish engulfing formed and confirmed also weekly looks very strongly bullish right it's very highly unlikely that there is bearishness in the market till we see a reversal signal so if by the end of september we get a negative candle here like a bearish harami or something i i won't short on weeklies right as long as this formation this is a bullish formation right there is rejection but there is still price action with volumes into the zone where rejection happened so all of this is suggesting bullishness uh, trade to do could be bull call spreads but i i i don't want to do bull call spread because there is a resistance here so i am happier doing bull put spreads right so so i mean yeah because it's a tiny position hmm. okay so the trade i would take here is i'll probably go to builder and this is a was a decent trade to take this morning and this is what i had taken i, I posted on my twitter also that i i'd happily take a 17600 wala sell put or 17550 wala put spread right risk reward is like only 1 is to 3 but theek hai yaar i mean kuch to banega and the relief here why i like this trade is because uh if you look at open interest right 17600 is a massive strike at 7500 is also a massive strike so if you are selling something like 17550 there is a very high chance that aap bach jaoge so no short for me i'll sell puts with the hedge that would be my trade right vibo is saying dollar index is the highest vibo good point that you good thing that you pointed out so i'll i'll just tell you one small you know reverse opinion to that dollar right so i still think dollar is a good idea to go long in the long run but my problem is today dollar gave a very good bearish harami with volumes and tomorrow if the close of dollar is below today's close then it confirms the bearish harami you can see this right this is a green candle this is a red candle inside the green candle so so i had dollar uh call spreads i had got a 79 half 80 half uh call spread but uh, uh today i saw the harami and i got out right so uh, i mean matlab i had entered like uh, i think i have had shared the trade also two days back i had entered on the formation of this bullish hammer and i exited today somewhere around 455 right so so i'd say that dollar is not a good long here because it's a reversal signal if the reversal signal confirms tomorrow it's definitely not a good trade to be long but if tomorrow we get positive action and it closes above today's high then for sure you should be long dollar so what's the trade in dollar if tomorrow's close is below today's close then short dollar if tomorrow's close is above today's uh, uh, open then you should be long dollar because the harami is invalidated right so net net i'm slightly mild bullish nifty definitely bullish bank nifty and bearish dollar and my view on dollar will change if uh dollar breaks today's uh high or today's close today's open right so that is my net net trade now let me quickly see what are the user comments yeah pranav it's a very good point you're making at the top of the channel every time the reversals are clearer but this time there is no rejection and it seems like it's a consolidation and it's not a reversal so breakout ka chances jyada hai because there's no reverse there's no rejection right like what i'm trying to say is see last time right there was such a big rejection here but now there's no rejection it's still creeping up to the blue trend line look at this right there was rejection and it followed yahan pe there was rejection 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 every level there was rejection but this time there's no rejection and i won't be surprised if it just breaks out and goes to 18500 or one of these things if it breaks out of this blue channel so for me it is not an obvious shot on nifty anymore because we are i know one more thing right uh, if you look at hourly nifty is above 250 and 100 hourly moving averages so basically in every time frame it looks very uh, you know uh, strong shubish is wishing everyone happy onam yes shubish happy onam to you too uh, 
so anyway that is our analysis for today yesterday we missed it because there was india park match but then that didn't go well so uh, so on that note i'll uh, take your leave as usual this is not advice or tips or multi bagger or you know uh, earn your financial independence before you turn 35 I I really don't know if it's a good idea to you know have nothing to do when you turn 35 because most of our productive years happen once we are 35 before 35 what do we even know right so <laughs> but anyway that is that so on that note I'll take your leave as usual guys please uh, take care and keep your capital safe bye and good night.